Hi everyone, Chris here. How are you all doing? I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to talk to you about mug bets. What are they? When should you use them? And why do they exist? So a mug bet is basically a bet that you place on an event with a bookmaker that looks like you're not doing any sort of match betting. So I'll give you an example. We've got the upcoming uh, Champions League final, Real Madrid, Liverpool. And that's an event which is going to have a lot of people placing bets on it. And they're going to be people that are just, just really punters. They're just going to make a one-off bet. And uh, it's gambling, essentially, because they don't know what the outcome is going to be. Now, the thing with match betting is bookmakers have said before that they don't really care what you do with a free bet. Like, it's completely up to you what you do with it. Uh, and if you do a match bet with it, that is you back and you lay the event, then they're not really bothered. They say, go for that. But when you think about it logically, if you are always using a bookmaker to get value from them, so for example, you're only placing bets when you are getting free bets and stuff like that, all you're basically doing there is taking value from the bookmaker. And when you do that enough, um, the bookmaker is, is probably going to get a little bit annoyed at that. Uh, and then that can lead to uh, what is called being gubbed. And that's when the bookmaker restricts the promotions that they give you for a while. And they also sometimes restrict the size of your bets that you can place on that account. Uh, and generally that's a bad thing that we don't want to happen to us. So you place these so-called mug bets in order to keep the bookmaker happy. And the upside of that is that you actually get more offers coming in when you do them. Uh, the bookmaker will email you more offers that are specially for you uh, and more free bets and free spins and things like that. So when you've got the knowledge and the tools for match betting, you know exactly what to do with those extra free bonuses that you get. And we can actually structure these mug bets in such a way that they give the bookmaker value and we don't actually lose out on anything. So for example, we'll place it on something with higher odds where the bet is likely to lose with the bookmaker, win at the exchange, we don't mind because we're a net positive overall, but the bookmaker is happy because on their books, you look like a customer that loses more than they win. And that's what a bookmaker wants as an ideal customer at the end of the day. So when would you actually want to start placing mug bets? Well, I'd say when you're beginning, when you're going through all of these early sign-up offers and things like that, you don't really have to worry about it. This is more of an intermediate to maybe even advanced concept. Uh, and it's something that I would say you only really need to start getting into when you're actually doing match betting uh, more for an income. Uh, you know, when you get to the stage where you understand it, you're completing offers regularly and you're making a couple of hundred, three, four hundred pounds a month. That's the sort of stage when you probably think, OK, I need to make sure my bookmaker accounts are kept in good order. I'm going to throw in a few mug bets here and there. In terms of how often you do them, I like to do them once every two offers that I complete. So say I get a free bet from a bookmaker and I also complete one of the daily offers or several of those, then what I'm gonna do is chuck in a mug bet on that bookmaker account just to keep everything balanced out. And as I said, the real sweet spot, if you can get to it, is to have more of a loss at the bookmaker than you actually take from them. So say I get a five pound free bet, what I might then do is place a 10 pound mug bet on higher odds that is likely to lose with the bookmaker and then uh, win at the betting exchange. And then overall, the bookmaker thinks, yeah, we gave this guy a five pound bet, but we've also made five pounds from them. So they're normally pretty happy with that. Uh, in terms of how do you actually do a mug bet, We've got a full guide on Profit Squirrel that you can read, uh, but let me show you quickly on the screen exactly what I would tend to look for.
Okay, so you can see that I've got the odds matcher up on the screen. I mentioned before that you can place mug bets on big events and you definitely should look to do that. Uh, for example, um, World Cup matches, um, Wimbledon, uh, Ascot, uh, the Champions League final, anything that is like a big event that people would normally place a lot of bets on, um, that's a really cool thing to do it on. Uh, in that case, what you would basically do is just find that event yourself in the bookmaker that you wanted to place the mug bet with and you'd find it in the betting exchange and then as normal, you just use the calculator here. Uh, let me bring this up to full screen. What you would do is you would just put in the odds that you have in the bookmaker and the exchange just as normal as a normal bet. But the thing you want to do with mug bets, because there is no free bet that is guaranteed from them, as I said, you'll probably get sent more bets, but there's no complete this and we guarantee that we'll give you this £10 free bet. The real aim of the game is to minimize the qualifying losses that you uh, experience. So to do that, we look for events with high ratings, which is why I'm using the odds matcher here. So let's pick a random bookmaker, um, I don't know, Bet365, that's a pretty common one. A lot of good offers from Bet365, you want to keep your accounts with them in good order. So we start having a look and there's a few events here with uh, over 100 ratings. So you could potentially make a little profit from them. Um, and there's some here with ratings of sort of 99, 98, uh, and so on. A good strategy that I like to do with uh, mug betting is I pick something that I'm like into. So for example, I might follow uh, certain leagues or certain things like that. So I think the Seattle Real Salt Lake, that must be a, uh, yeah, a major league soccer, a US soccer event. So they often have quite good uh, ratings, those events. So you might say, what I'm gonna do with this bookmaker, every time there's a certain team or certain major league soccer event, uh, I'm gonna place a bet with this bookmaker. And then that starts to look kind of normal, starts to look like you're uh, not trying to take anything from the bookmaker, you're just into this sport and you're betting on it. Uh, and you can do that with horse racing as well. Um, something like that, you know. So for example, this one, say uh, I place a £10 bet, a, um, a £10 normal, normal bet, I lay that off uh, with Smarkets in this case, I'm going to be down by 7p. So if I do a few of these, um, it's not really much out of my overall profits, you know. If you're making a few hundred pounds, maybe a thousand pounds a month, um, a few of these sort of 7p, 10p losses uh, really aren't going to make much difference to your overall um, profit and loss, but they're going to make sure that you can't. Uh, but they're going to make sure that you qualify for a lot more free bets down the line, and your accounts uh, keep the good stuff coming in. One thing I would tell you to avoid with these mug bets is just picking a random arb or arbitrage uh, if you don't normally bet on that sport. So for example, say uh, here, we've got a rating of 103 on this horse air. That is an arbitrage opportunity. So basically what that means is that you can make a profit with a normal bet. So in this example here where I'm betting 10 pounds, the profit would be 35 pence because there's a difference between the back odds and the lay odds. Now that can be cool if you are often betting on horse racing um, and it doesn't look like anything out of the ordinary for you, but picture it from the bookmaker's perspective. Say you only place match bets on football events uh, and you only really use offers and then all of a sudden, uh, you come in and you put like a big 50 pound bet on this horse uh, at these odds That's going to look slightly strange because the bookmakers have got tools like we have uh, and they know what all the odds are So that's just something to be aware of 
Don't go too crazy when you see these ARB opportunities. Most of the times they're not really worth it. Like you're gonna make 35 pence from this bet, sure, but what other free bets are you missing out on down the line potentially by placing that if horse racing isn't really your normal everyday thing. So I hope that's been helpful and shed a little bit of light on this concept. Uh, any questions, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you're enjoying this content or if you're just getting into match betting, maybe you're a seasoned pro, uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. And please like this video and subscribe to Profit Squirrel for the latest in match betting and online money-making news. See you soon, everyone. Have a great day.